The Organization of Economic Cooperation or Development represents uh, nearly 34 countries. And we found that while the U.S. economy shows signs of recovery, income inequality still poses a problem. As you mentioned, I spoke to Richard Boucher, director of the OECD, for his insights and analysis on the report. This one comes out at a time of uh, where the U.S. is facing this fiscal cliff at the end of December when taxes automatically expire, tax cuts automatically expire, so taxes would go up, spending cuts automatically come down, and you, you hit this wall of fiscal retrenchment that moves you much closer towards a balanced budget much quickly, but it also drops economic growth, and that's where the Congressional Budget Office says that if we, if we do that, that could cut growth down to one half of one percent and raise unemployment at the same time. We're saying you've got to avoid that. You've got to do some other things to it. There is a different path towards fiscal s stability in the United States that would take you a couple more years, a medium-term path that involves uh, a lot of different steps in the economy, but I'd say a smarter path. Uh, rather than chopping the deficit with a meat axe, you take a scalpel and, and adjust and reform programs. What would the top one or two programs that you believe the United States should focus on? The United States spends a lot of money through its tax code, various forms of benefits. Some of it's near and dear to taxpayers, like the mortgage interest deduction. Some of it's uh, fossil fuel uh, depletion, uh, investment subsidies, and things like that. So there are things like that we ought to look at tax expenditures as much as we look at spending and figure out which ones of these are really necessary, which aren't. Concentrate spending more on infrastructure that's productive, on education, on innovation. Um, and finally, you need to look at the tr plethora of transfer programs. There's, we counted 80-something different subsidy transfer benefits social protection programs. You're saying that they should be looked at for potential cuts. Well, some of the big ones you can, you can look at reforms. Uh, we, we talk about reforms the Netherlands did to their uh, disability system. That, and the U.S. workforce has gone from sort of 3% of the workforce on disability, something like 66 .6. Well, one of the goals should be to have those people not just take disability and drop out of the workforce, find ways that they can work, part-time, telecommute, uh, workplace accommodation. And you mentioned that there was something scary about the report or the scariest thing about the report. I'd like to ask you to elaborate on it. In the United States, used to be the world leader in the percentage of people that went to college. So my generation of people, 45, 50 percent, went to college. That was tops in the world. Well, new generation, yeah, still 45, 50 percent go to college. That's not tops in the world. There are other people that are running faster. Other people have taken their low rates of college and may turn them into high rates of college. And we need to do that too. Regardless of who's in the White House, how should they support education? We put a lot of emphasis on secondary education, that kids are not finishing college because they're not well prepared. Put a lot of emphasis on vocational, apprenticeship, technical skills, community college. That's where a set of skills that needed for manufacturing, needed for innovation, and needed to close some of the inequalities that are appearing. We saw what happened to Greece. I mean, there, it, it's, a, it's a massive quagmire that most believe that they will not be able to repay back their loans. And I wonder, if you take a step back, might that be a wake-up call for other countries around the world to say, look, you need to get your fiscal house in order because if you don't, the markets will take the next step for you. We have these wake-up calls. We had the Asian financial crisis. We had the global economic crisis. Uh, we need to sort of work better at fixing our problems when they appear and not letting them linger.